Hello, this is Rail Rider, and today we're going to review the YouTube video Lionel just released about the Vision Line in Norfolk and Western Class A. I was just as excited about this video as I was when Lionel announced the Vision Line in Niagara. I used to have an HO scale model of this and I couldn't stop playing with it. So, all new tooling. So that means they're not just going to reuse the exact same tooling from the last Class A's and just give it additional features. No, this is a brand new tooling. Some collectors love brand new toolings. In fact, maybe the tooling difference is that this one is shiny! It's so shiny, I want it so badly! Another difference is, take a closer look at this part of the valve gear. By the looks of this, it's gonna have additional moving parts I never had on another Lionel steam locomotive. Awesome, just awesome. Down there it says, Sample shown is a 3D printed prototype. Final production pieces may vary. So that means it might not be shiny, it's gonna might look different. Oh, I sure hope it's still shiny, and I sure hope it still have that those additional moving parts. Come on! The tender's not shiny. Well, almost every Lionel train has that feature now these days. I had that feature before on the Vision Line Niagara, and it was the most realistic smoke unit. Also, I would rather have the whistle close to the safety valves than the smoke stack, because the two smokes just mix up together and it's hard to tell if a different smoke unit is on, and the smoke stack just sprays smoke all the time, so... Yeah. You see that line on the sand dome? I'm guessing Lionel is hiding the switches underneath this sand dome. They did it on all the other Vision Line engines. I'm also guessing that one of the fill holes for the whistle steam and safety valve is one of these holes or the steam dome. I'm pretty sure that the whistle and safety valves will have the exact same smoke unit. Just two different fans. Stereophonic? Is that your new way of saying a three-speaker sound system? Two in the tender and one in the engine? Honestly, force coupler, I, I never really noticed that feature. I mean, that feature is not very noticeable to me. Take a look at the smoke box door. Look at these small parts. I don't think the smoke box door actually opens. This might be the first vision line a steam locomotive with a smoke box door that might not open. From this shot, the firebox flicker is colored in orange. So Lionel is switching to a more accurate color of fire, because fire is really colored in orange. Most of the other steam locomotives Lionel made, they're colored in red. I mean, the Lego trains I built, the firebox color is orange. I guess this means that the roof hatches really open up. Road number specific detailing. 
This is when, well, for example, like if uh, 1206 had a different pilot, if Lionel's making a 1206, it will get that pilot. If any number in class um, looks any different from the other Norfolk and Western Class A's, then uh, Lionel will make that difference. The video says something to make the collectors very excited. Boy, I wonder what that feature's gonna be. Tell me! Tell me! I want to know so much, Lionel! I'm dying to find out! Okay, come down. I just need to be patient. Um, let's think. Um, what should I do now? Um, uh, let's see, uh, should I watch the Chicago Bears? Oh my god! I want to know that feature! I want to know that feature! Okay, um, my guess it could be Depleting Colload or Swinging Bell. Well, I don't know if Lionel's gonna have space for the magnet that makes the bell swing, since it could be occupied by the electric motor that makes the wheels turn. Or maybe it's a feature that's uh, never been done before. But honestly, I think Lionel's running out of features that never been done before. It could be a blowdown feature, but where? So, we're basically reliving the time Lionel released the Vision Line Niagara's. We're just gonna have to wait to see the catalog. Find out what the price and minimum curve radius is. I'm sure the price would be more expensive than the Vision Line Challenger. And I'm sure the minimum curve radius is going to be 072. And if I were you, I would think before buying it. I'm gonna buy it.